Have you ever had uh, encounters with the supernatural, like a supernatural experience? I'm from Miami. I'm from where Haitians do voodoo. I'm from, I'm from where, when you talk about spirits, I grew up around that. My neighbor next door to me, before the, the 4th of July, three days before the 4th, uh, they always went and bought a $40 goat. All of us will grab a leg. Mm -hmm. They finna chop the head off, drain the blood. Big homie in the building. You know what I'm saying? The boss. My homie Rick Ross, man. What's up, man? Much Tip love. Me. Really good to see you. Yeah, hell, man. Always good to see you, man. Every yo, time, man. Hell homie. yeah, yo. All right, so check this out. This is paranoid activity. So we gotta, you know, get to some shit right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get to some real, real questions of the show. Let's do it. This is what Rose gonna tell you. I've been making music for 20 years. You know, I went over 10 years without making a dime in this. If I was gonna join Illuminati, I would've. Don't get me wrong, I would've. But I would've did it back then before all my niggas went to prison. To me, it was like, yo, you mean if a nigga get a certain amount of money, you gotta say it was a spiritual being. The devil came and gave him the bag. Destroy the child, corrupt them all. Like, man, I was so proud the first time I heard a nigga told me I was Illuminati. I swear to fucking God, I wanted to drink champagne and roll up some weed and I finally made it, bitch. I'm above you stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> If I knew the Illuminati was going to pull up to my fucking house and <laughs> zap niggas and you walk out to a hundred million, sign me up. I'm all with it. I, I signed for this and, and it's mine. So check this out, right? Everybody's talking about the song, Idols Become Your Rivals. Oh! God damn it. You was really loyal to Khaled and Wayne on that joint, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, before you let that track loose, did you speak with, with both of them? before you let it out? No, I didn't, because I know Khaled, he would have told me, no, Rose, right, right, do right. it. That's the only time me and him ever got upset with each other is when I wanted to do something, and he, no, mm. bro, you know what I mean? Congratulations on beating your case, too, you know what I mean? I heard you went through that bullshit. I'm glad that's over with for you. That. I was down there two years in fighting that shit. Talk about how it feels, like, you know, having your freedom now. Like, oh, man, you know it's, it's a big difference, you know what I'm saying? That, it's a whole new different type of energy, you know, not just, you oh, know, yeah. the situation we was in, a lot of people may have folded, but, you know, you know, I stood strong. Not only that, I built more restaurants while we was out on bond, you know what I mean? But the Yo. stress that I caused, you know, the family, you know, your mama, you know, that's the, yeah, you that, gotta those are the things that, that you wish you could mm -hmm. take back, you did. All right, so you built an empire with the wing stop, you know what I mean? Uh, what made you want to start investing money in this company and how many stores do you own? Really, it was just me tasting lemon pepper for the first time. Lemon pepper what? Oh my God. The first day I went two, three times. Next day, it, it was some shit like that, like some unbelievable shit. So really, I was just on some, you know what I mean? With my money right, man, I'm gonna buy one of them just to have it, you know what I mean? I pull up, put my bitch in a Ferrari, pull up, yeah, bitch, jump in, and then I'm gonna get a 20 piece, bitch, I'll carry on. <laughs> get a nigga a diet doctor proper, bitch, what's it? What was your thinking when you created like the Maybach symbol, the logo for the record label? Well, the logo for the record label was, you know, in Kara City where we used to walk to school at, you know, it was a little excessive. We didn't realize it as youngsters, but you know, you walking two miles to school, to and from school. So I just remember just like, yo, when we get a car, we gotta get the nicest. We gotta get the biggest, mm -hmm. whatever that is. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We gonna get up out of here, man. We had a good, we had a good special episode today. Well, hold on, you know no, before we go, it's only right for everybody watching. Let's take them to another level. Let's take them. I want you to put voodoo on everybody watching. And bitch, if you watching and you don't want no voodoo, run from it, ho. But you can't run. Put the voodoo on them. What's up? What's up?